Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to FA Cup Predictions. It's the fifth round and the winners of this go into the quarter-finals, Sophie. And there's some EFL teams left here. Getting interesting. It's getting very interesting. There's some very interesting games here. We're going to predict them. Make sure to get your predictions down below. We'll go for 218 likes. You guys have been fantastic at doing that. So hit the like button, hit our target, hit the subscribe button and let's get straight into the predictions, guys. We'll start with Stoke City versus Premier League Brighton. It does seem a foregone conclusion that Brighton should win this they should. if they go strong. Um, but Stoke, with their inconsistency, they can pop up with a good result. I just think it's a safe bet to go for Brighton here. Brighton having a very good season. Uh, they didn't play in the Premier League at the weekend because they were due to play one of Newcastle or Manchester United and obviously they were involved in the Carabao Cup. So an interesting game this where I think... If Stoke really turn up, this could be a good game. If not, Brighton might walk this. The fact Stoke are at home, I might give them a goal, but I'm still going to go Brighton. Stoke 1, Brighton 2. Yeah, I'm not going to say they're going to score, but I think it's going to be not as much of a goal fest purely because Stoke are the home team. However, I don't see them scoring, getting anything from this. So Brighton are going to progress 2-0. 2-0. Oh, interesting. Okay, we'll go on to the King Power, where Leicester City take on Blackburn Rovers. Now, Leicester City in the Premier League, obviously battling for survival this season. They've lost their last two Premier League games, but bear in mind, against Arsenal and Manchester United. And before that, they'd beaten Villa and Spurs. So, Leicester have pulled themselves away, but they still need a few wins in the Premier League. As for FA Cup, they won it a couple of years ago. Can they get far this time round? They're up against Blackburn, and Blackburn are a funny team. In our championship predictions, I seem to not back them as much as they win so I wonder if I could uh, uh, do you know what I can see an upset Sophie oh. I think Blackburn Rovers are digging deep in the championship they did win 3-1 at Queen's Park Rangers why not they're going to win 2-1 uh, what to Rovers yeah. I'm going to go the other way I do think Leicester City have the quality to progress I do see Blackburn scoring and I don't see it being um, a complete landslide to be honest I think it's going to be quite a tight game however for me Leicester City are going to Go through, so 2-1. You're going 2-1 Leicester. Yeah, okay. Way. Right, next up is an all-Premier League matchup. It's Fulham versus Leeds United. Now, Fulham are just doing fantastic. Um, yeah. They did only get a man uh, manager point against Wolves last time in the Premier League. Uh, Solomon popping up with a goal again and 1-1 uh, at Craven Cottage. They're back at home again. Uh, how about Leeds, hey? They beat Southampton, a massive game down the bottom of the Premier League and mm -hmm. it gives them a chance. With the new manager, can they get a bounce? You do feel like with these two... Where they are in the Premier League, they've got quite a bit to play for. Leeds obviously want to stay up. Fulham, they could get into Europe this season. I yeah. think it's more likely Fulham get into Europe by finishing high in the league than actually winning this cup. I don't know, I don't know where this is going to go. I'm going to back Leeds with the new manager to win again. I'm going to go Fulham nil, Leeds United one. They're marching on together. Oh, OK. Uh, no, I'm going to back the favourites again. I, I do think it's going to be another tight game, but I just have to back Fulham being at home. So 1-0. Okay, it seems like you're back in the favourite there. I, I am, yeah. Okay, next up, Bristol City versus Manchester City. Man Here City, yeah, well, this is interesting because Pep Guardiola has come out and said he's going to put out a strong team for this one. Um, obviously, Man City are fighting on a few fronts and uh, you'd fancy them with the teams left to be the favourites to win the FA Cup. Um, but Bristol City, obviously, we've got to mention how well they're doing in the championship. It's another win at the weekend yeah. just gone. They beat Hull City 1-0. And Nigel Pearson's really turned things around. And although Man City, in most instances, are going to win this game, I, I, there is that possibility Bristol City could cause them a few problems. But I don't know if Man City goes strong. Can Bristol City really do it? I'm going to say Bristol City get a goal. And I'd yeah. love them to do it. But I'm going to go City 2-1. Man City 2-1. Okay, so you think it could be a fairly tight game to be honest I don't um, I think when Pep, Pep says he's putting out a strong team even his second team's a strong team they've got insane squad depth uh, Bristol City they've been in good form in the championship so I don't think they're going to go into this almost like resigned to the fact that they're going to lose I think their confidence should be high I don't think they're going to progress i do see them getting a goal though so i'm going to say 3-1 man city 3-1 man city right down to st mary's southampton drew lead to grimsby town at home and um grimsby fantastic how they've got here brilliant honestly what a story for them to get to the fifth round and i feel like they're a good team in knockout games i mean they won the national league playoffs last year and can they do it at st mary's 
I don't think so. Although Southampton are bottom of the Premier League, I think they are going to win this one. They've got to, otherwise things are really, I mean, at an all-time low for Southampton. I think Grimsby might get a goal, but I'm going to go for Southampton's quality to get them a result. And they really need some positivity there. 3-1 to the Saints. You know, here comes my upset. 1-1. One, one. I see a draw playing out. Okay. Southampton on pens, but oh. um, yeah, I think that'd be massive though, wouldn't it? Well, yes, I suppose, yeah, if Grimsby... I, know, look, I don't think they'll go through, but I think, penalties. yeah, I think they'll take it right through to pens and mm -hmm. then lose at the end. Interesting. Okay, top of the table of the Championship, Burnley, and they take on League One Fleetwood Town. Fleetwood did well to get this far. They knocked out Sheffield Wednesday in the last round, which we didn't see coming after a replay. Uh, but Burnley are just a fantastic machine, and I think what will be interesting is if Burnley continue to do well here, they will draw a Premier League team soon. Imagine if it's Man City, Pe um, Pep versus company. That'd be an interesting matchup. And I am excited to see what Burnley. Anyway. I, I am excited to see what Burnley could do in the Premier League yeah. next year because that is an inevitability. Now yeah. Burnley are going up and they're going to win this game. It's going to be an absolute party. Burnley just flying this season. Three 0 Burnley. I'm going to say four 0 Burnley. I think they might not like completely full strength, but I think they're going to go quite strong because they're going to want to go through. Um, I've not seen enough of Fleetwood to be honest to judge their team. This is purely going off of the form Burnley are in, and yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of a golf fest. So four nil. Four nil. Right on to Old Trafford, Manchester United, keeping that quadruple dream still alive. They won the Carabao Cup. They knocked Barcelona out of the Europa League, and here they are in the FA Cup at home to West Ham. West Ham, though, we've got to mention what a brilliant Where result did that come from? against Nottingham Forest. Yeah. That was fantastic. It'll give them a lot of positivity, but do I see them winning at Old Trafford? That's probably the, the hardest place to go right now with Manchester United's yeah. brilliant form. So I'm going to go Manchester United 2-1. The quadruple dream is still alive. I think we both predicted um, United to win 2-0 in the final, and I think they're going to follow it up with another 2-0. I don't see them conceding against West Ham. I know West Ham have just put four past Nottingham Forest, but Man United are a different kettle of fish, and... I think it's going to be a very, very difficult game for West Ham. So, for me, Man United win 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. Right, on we go to Bramall Lane. It's Sheffield United versus Tottenham. Really could be a Premier League game next season, the way Sheffield United are going. Do you know what? What a weekend for them. They beat Watford and Middlesbrough lost to West Brom. Yeah. That was massive. And I feel like the positivity is going to be really flowing at Bramall Lane. Mm -hmm. And it's it's an FA Cup game. I mean, you know, it's a free hit. Why don't Sheffield United just go for it? Tottenham, obviously, you've got to say, have improved drastically in they the have. Premier League. What a good result against Chelsea. And it's not impossible Spurs could win this FA Cup, although they haven't won a trophy for quite some time, as quite a lot of people always say. I'm going to go for an upset right at the end here. Sheffield United are doing fantastic. Sheffield United 1-0. I'm going to say Sheffield United 2-1. I just see them getting through this. I think Tottenham really need a trophy and this could be a good opportunity for it, to be honest. But I think the Blades are going to stop them 2-1. I know, this is a massive result for the Blades, but we're both backing them to win. Get your thoughts down below, guys. There's a couple of Premier League and Championship games that we're going to predict there. Get your thoughts in for all of those. As I say, lots of games coming this midweek. We'll have Championship and Premier League predictions coming Wednesday and Thursday. As I say, drop a like, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.